Ending homelessness to me is really personal because my mom experienced homelessness. By the time someone ends up on our streets, they have been failed by a number of other systems. So maybe it's education, the criminal justice system, the healthcare system, the mental health or behavioral health system. So they've gone through all these things and then they end up on the street as a result of, of kind of falling out or falling through the cracks in those systems. And so that was very much my mom's journey. It's just a cycle of dealing with some mental health issues, some addiction issues, um, and really trying to keep it all together because that's what we do, you know, as a society. And she really still tried to put on the good face and present well, and and um, but it just, you know, she couldn't keep it up after a while. And so then she was able to, through a treatment program, get sober. And she was sober for about 12 years um, and worked, had her own apartment and lived for a while. And then one winter she broke her shoulder and through taking pain medication and all of that, uh, developed an opiate addiction. That was the point at which things kind of hit rock bottom, I would say. She spent some time in a few homeless shelters, um, and then there were just periods of time when we wouldn't really hear from her. And then she spent a lot of time in really unhealthy, abusive relationships um, with different partners because she had a home, she had a place to stay. Um, someone took care of her, even if they treated her really badly. She started to uh, really think about like pursuing sobriety, figuring out what that looked like, and she was able to get on the waiting list for a permanent supportive housing apartment um, unit for senior citizens. Her family helped her move in and her sisters, and um, she was a different woman, but she was um, she was alive and she was sober. She got to apologize for not being there, for missing prom and first dates and all that stuff. And, and I think that that was something that she had never done. We'd never had that conversation. She was there, so this was September of 2015, and then she passed away uh, a few months later in November of 2015. And I feel now, looking back on that, that had she, I can say now that I feel like she died with dignity. Like she had a home. We got to make amends for, you know, 30 years of just kind of this really crappy relationship. When I think about homelessness and I think about our neighbors who are homeless, it's not like people want to be on the street. Like it's, it's not like people are like so proud of my status as a person experiencing homelessness. And, and so I think that even literally just having keys to her own apartment gave her dignity back. 